Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing okay. This video wasn't planned, or at least this wasn't planned. I somehow ended up getting a Filofax Finsbury Mini and I set it up as my wallet. So <laughs> I pretty much just want to show you my Filofax wallet setup today. And if you are familiar with my channel, you probably know that I previously used the Travis notebook in passport size as a wallet and I I loved it, <laughs> but for some reason I I somehow ended up looking at Final Fix Minis. And then I realized that they had something that my passport size Travis notebook was missing. And then I ended up on eBay and then I found this and then I had it. So yeah, it, 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 was, it was an accident, kind of. But to be honest, I can't even say I regret it because so far I'm absolutely loving this book. So I'm really excited to show you my setup, but for comparison, this is my passport size Travis notebook. This is what I used as a wallet for the last three years, I think. This is the Filofax Finsbury Mini. As you can see, it's actually a bit more compact than the passport size Travis notebook. And even though this is almost empty and this is full of like all of the stuff I need in my wallet there's still kind of the same thickness so I that's actually something I'm really enjoying because this was sometimes a bit heavy and just bulky and this is kind of a bit more compact so just in case you were wondering what they like how they compare size wise there you go. I will be doing a comparison video on like those two, but I kind of want to use this Finsbury for a couple of weeks before I do that because I already used this for quite some time and I don't think I want to compare them without even using this properly first so just in case you're interested in that i'll definitely be doing a comparison video and also update you on how it's going like in this one <laughs> but for now i just want to show you my setup and we'll talk about like those two and kind of how they compare and maybe even what i prefer in a month or so so yeah Okay, now back to this Firefox. Again, this is the Finsbury Mini. I absolutely love the Finsbury. I don't know why, I just really like the like configuration of this. I also really like the leather and I also have the Finsbury in the personal size <laughs> and I'm also really liking that one and I also love how those two look together so yeah I'm, I'm actually a big fan of the Finsbury and again I got this off of eBay and I got it for like I think half the price you pay for it new which was a pretty good deal I think and it's actually as good as new so yeah I'm I'm really happy with that. Okay, let's open it up. This is pretty much what it looks like. Again, I'm using this as my wallet. And what I like to do is pretty much just having all of my stuff I need in my wallet and also a monthly calendar for on the go. So that's pretty much all I have in here. That's pretty much the same stuff I also had in my passport size just in kind of a different system, if that makes sense. So maybe let's talk about the Finsbury configuration a bit more first. You basically have those three card pockets on this side, then this bigger pocket right here. <laughs> and then in the back, you get a pen loop and this kind of coin 
zipper pocket. And last but not least, which is pretty much what kind of sold me on this, is this big back pocket, which makes it the perfect wallet in my opinion. So that's basically what my Passport Size Terrors notebook was missing and why I decided to like get this. <laughs> so yeah. Now let's talk about what I have in here. I'm kind of excited to be honest, but at the same time I couldn't sleep last night. So in case I don't make a lot of sense, that's probably why. So yeah, I pretty much use those cards pockets as intended. Like I pretty much just have the cards in here I use the most, like debit card, insurance, things like that. Basically just stuff I need on like a regular basis. In this bigger pocket, I have my, like what's this? the registration for my car. Like, what do you call it? I have no idea. It's pretty much just stuff for my car. And then I have kind of my calendar system set up, whatever you want to call it. I kind of created this little dashboard thingy. This is like, this is a little bit of a DIY, to be honest, because you can't really get those pockets from Filofax for the mini. Like you can get those little clear things and stuff and like accessories for the pocket and also like the bigger sizes, but for some reason they don't really offer them for the mini. So I kind of made this myself. This was basically just one of those, like I don't even know what to call this. Like it was kind of this little booklet where you could store documents inside. And I basically just cut it apart and punch some holes into it. And it's pretty much the perfect size. I'm sure you can probably get those in pretty much any office supply so store. So yeah, I don't know, but I think this works pretty well. And I just have this Lin Chianing business card in here. And then also this little sticker I got from Kyoko, I think. So yeah. <laughs> and then we just go straight into my calendar pages. I created all of my inserts myself because I also did that for my regular file effects. No, it's not called a regular, it's a personal. I always want to say regular, you know what I mean, the personal file effects, which by the way, I have never shown this one on this channel, so I'll probably do a personal file effects flip through soon too. I kind of use this as my commonplace book, so I don't know, I should probably share it at some point, but for now we're talking about this one. And I basically created all of my inserts in the personal size myself, and I bought like this Rhodia paper for it, so I figured I could do the same with like the mini. Also, I just don't really like the Firefox inserts, to be honest. I feel like they're always really busy and I wanted something very simple. So yeah, I created this simple calendar for 2024. And then I just had to fill some space. So I added this Polaroid picture on here, which I'm not sure if I'll leave it there, to be honest, because it kind of adds like quite a bit of bulk to be honest, but it looks cute, so for now, it's, it's, for now it can stay there. And then we just go straight into September, because this is obviously the month I kind of started this book. And yeah, again, I created those monthly layouts myself. Pretty easy, wasn't really that much work. Well, actually, it was like a bit of work to kind of put in all of the dates and stuff. But overall, this is a pretty simple layout. And I really enjoy it. And even though you don't have a ton of space in each like day, I think it's enough for what I use it for. I basically just jot down appointments when I'm on the go. And I usually don't have more than one appointment a day, so it's fine. And yeah, I kind of decorated this a little bit. I think it turned out pretty cute, actually. I, I like it. And yeah, that's basically, that's, I mean, it's nothing special. I really just put down my appointments and that's it. But 
I really like it. And I also love how cute and tiny those rings are. Okay, so this is September. And then I also have October, November, and December, which I haven't decorated yet, but I will do that soon. <laughs> and then after that, I basically just have a couple of like notes pages. Just if I need them, I kind of have this to buy list in here because I feel like this makes sense to kind of have this on the go. And then I also just wrote a little autumn bucket list because I'm excited for autumn and I feel like it makes sense to have this in here too. I don't know. It made sense in my head, to be honest. I kind of feel like I could probably almost use this similar to a bullet journal because what I really miss about bullet journaling compared to my Hobonichi cousin is that in the cousin I don't really have space for lists and stuff because I use the daily pages for journaling and I can't really put like things like a bucket list in like the weekly pages so that's something I really missed about my bullet journal and I kind of thought <laughs> maybe I should just set up September in my bullet journal but I feel like I'm already using enough notebooks at the moment so I probably shouldn't do that but instead I just decided to put a couple of lists in here and for now it's working pretty well I could even see myself doing dailies in here and just to-do lists, but we'll see. Yeah, this is my autumn bucket list. And then I just have one empty notes page and that's pretty much it for like the Canada and like notes pages, not a ton, but all I need. And after that, I basically just have another one of those pockets I made. And in here, I pretty much just have things I don't really need to take out that often like my ID, driver's license, also my student ID on the back and basically what I was thinking when I was setting this up is that I can probably just show my ID like this without having to take it out like those two things usually wouldn't be here They're just to kind of censor my data but if I need to show my ID, I can probably just show it like that in like this clear pocket thing without having to actually take it out. So that was kind of my thought process behind this. And then for my driver's license, I never had to show this ever. Like I'm driving for, I don't know, six years now. And yeah, never needed to show this anywhere. So. We'll see. Maybe I shouldn't like jinx it because I'm sure it will happen at some point. But yeah, so yeah, that's kind of why it's tucked like in the back. And then that's kind of the other side. I probably shouldn't show this number. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's basically this. I kind of feel like this will make... I'm, I'm not sure if this makes sense in the back, to be honest, but I feel like it's kind of... A good protection for the paper insert so I don't know that's just how I decided to set it up for now so yeah that's that and then in the back I just have my Taurus company brass ballpoint pen for on the go I to be honest Whoever is responsible for the pen loops over at Filofax really needs to get a grip because what is this? Like, <laughs> this one fits, but I would have preferred to kind of take a fountain pen or something with me. But yeah, this pen loop is just way too small and stiff. So I'll have to live with this pen. But actually for on the go, this is probably the best choice anyways, because pretty much uses no ink like I feel like I'll never run out of ink with this and it's also pretty much indestructible so yeah that's that and then in the zipper pocket I pretty much just have a couple of coins so nothing special I'm not sure how this will like 
hold up in day-to-day -day use because I feel like you can't really access this pouch really well. So we'll see how that goes, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe I'll have to keep my coins in like a separate pouch or something, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll keep you posted. <laughs> and then last but not least, I pretty much just have some money in this back pocket and that's basically it. So yeah, the setup is really simple, but to be honest, so far, I'm just absolutely loving this. It's, I feel like it's just so cute and tiny and just so like useful at the same time. Like, I don't know. And I, I actually really like how compact it is or kind of how compact it feels compared to my passport size Strauss notebook. Like it just, I don't know, it just feels better. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it or why, but it feels better to me. So yeah, I also kind of prefer this like closure with the button compared to the elastic on the Travis notebook. But yeah, again, I will definitely keep you updated on how this is going. So far, I'm loving it and I hope I'll continue to love it, but I'm, I'm pretty positive, to be honest. Like, we'll see. I will definitely do a little update video in like a month or so and then compare this to the passport size Strauss notebook and kind of tell you what I would recommend. So yeah, that's it. That's all I wanted to share in this video. I, yeah, that's it. I, I hope you've enjoyed watching. I hope this wasn't too chaotic. The next video will be a Hobonichi unboxing. So I hope you're all as excited as I am. And I will probably upload the next video earlier than usual, at least if I manage to edit it as quickly as possible. But my order is scheduled for Monday. So I guess I could be able to upload the video on like... Maybe Tuesday if I'm quick, probably Wednesday. So yeah, just so you know, next week's video will be up earlier than Sunday and then there won't be a video on Sunday and then we'll just continue with like the Sunday uploads. I hope that makes sense. Okay, that's it. Again, I hope you've enjoyed watching. Maybe let me know in the comments down below what you're using as a wallet. Would you consider one of those cute little mini Final Faxes? I would love to know. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next video. Take care and goodbye.